Oh, good job. President, oh, yes. please be seated. The court is back in the session. Before I hand over the floor to lead call lawyer for civil party to put question to this civil party, the chamber would like to issue an oral ruling on new witness for treatment of the Vietnamese. In order to provide timely notice to the parties, the trial chamber now issues a partial decision on E319-36, the international co-prosecutor request to call for additional witnesses and to admit several written records of interview listed in Annex J to the motion E319-36.2. The parties responded to this motion orally during proceedings on the 1st December 2015. This oral decision is limited to the international co-prosecutor's request to call the proposed witness on the treatment of the Vietnamese whom the OCIJ interviewed in case 003 and the international co-prosecutor's request to admit three of the proposed witness newly disclosed written records of interview from case 003, E319-23.3.44. E319-23.3.46 and document E319-23.3.4 discussed in paragraphs 11 and 12 of the International Co-Prosecutor's Motion. The civil party lead co-lawyers support the, the co international co-prosecutor's co requests. The Nguyen Chia defense submits that should the chamber grant the international co-prosecutor's requests, the proposed witness be called to testify only after the case 003 investigation is complete, and that all of the proposed witness recently disclosed written, written records of interviews be admitted, including document A319-23.3.45 and document A319-23.3.45. 23.3.48. No party objected to the admission of these additional two written records of interview. The Kiel Sompon defense objects to the calling the proposed witness arguing that because the co-prosecutors were aware of this witness during the case 002 investigation, the international co-prosecutor's request is tardy. The case on point defense also submits that none of the written records of interview proposed by the international co-prosecutor should be tendered into evidence before the case 003 investigation has been completed. The trial chamber notes that although DC CAM interviewed the proposed witness in 2007, this interview contains uh, minimal information relevant to the treatment of the Vietnamese. See document E3-1992. The written records of interview recently disclosed by the ICIJ contain such information in detail. The chamber is certified that this evidence on the treatment of the Vietnamese was not available before the opening of the trial. Consequently, all requests fulfill the requirements 
of internal rule 87.3 and point four. The Chamber therefore grants the international co-prosecutor's request to call the proposed witness and assigns him the pseudonym 2TCW1000. The trial chamber also admits into evidence 2TCW1000's written records of interview as requested by both the international court prosecutor and the defense, namely document A319 slash 23.3.44, E319 slash 23.3.45, E319 slash 23.3.46, E319 slash 23.3.47, and E319 slash 23.3.48. Gives the floor to political lawyers for civil party. La Chambre donne à présent la parole au co-avocat pour les partis. And uh, you can proceed with your questioning. Please wait, lawyer. You have the floor first, Mr. Koba. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I have a request uh, for clarification um, directed um, to the civil party lawyer. Um, and I'm referring to um, document E3 slash uh, 5631 on the first page. Um, that's the interview of the civil party with the uh, present lawyer who is interviewing the civil party. Um, and in the Eng English, and it's also in, in relation to earlier questions from the civil party lawyer in relation to the Vietnamese calendar versus the uh, Western calendar. Um, on uh, English page 00678, 292 and Khmer 0089753 and French 00898372. I read in English um, at 900, at 9, nine o'clock on 17 April 1975, 17 March according to the Western calendar, um, and then the story about the killing of his family. Um, so it seems to suggest here that um, the Western calendar is one month earlier. Um, on the other page, it seems to suggest that something else. But the question is relevant because if it's on 17 March 75, technically we are outside this, the jurisdiction of this uh, tribunal. Um, and also in relation to the questions that the civil party lawyer asked, I think um, it would be uh, beneficial to all parties to know if that, if that is uh, a mistake in the English language um, in E3-5631. Your Honours, uh, when this civil party was questioned earlier about the differences between the Vietnamese calendar and the Western calendar, which is the same as the Khmer calendar, what he did say, which, is, which ultimately clarifies the point raised by my learned friend, is that today's date, being the 7th of December, means that in the Vietnamese calendar it's the 26th of October. This means that the Vietnamese calendar is always earlier than the Western calendar. And it's my submission that that response ultimately clarifies the inconsistencies that do appear on the supplementary statement at two, par at two parts of the statement, or rather the confusion that arises from the uh, explanation given on the first part, the first page of the supplementary statement, and then the second that page, which refers to a different date. It's my submission, Your Honours, that that question Donc, has already been clarified in this civil party's earlier answers.
grâce aux réponses précédemment données par la partie civile. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's me, but I'm not sure if I understand. C est, c est My concern moi, is, is he describing events um, before the jurisdiction of this court being 17 April 75, or is he describing events on 17 April 75? I think the court should know whether um, the alleged killing of his family took place before um, the time period that the court has jurisdiction. That is the only question I think which is relevant ou à la date qui est pertinente au vu du champ du procès. President, before I give the floor to Litco Lawyer for Civil Parties, Avant que je ne redonne la parole au co-avocat pour les parties civiles, I would like to ask the particular representative of a civil parties. I heard the example referring to December of that year. So I think it is confusing concerning the calendar. And if that is the case, I think it the Vietnamese calendar perhaps uh, two months si tel est le cas, uh, after the uh, Western calendar, not one month after. Ce n'est pas un mois qu'il y a comme différence, mais deux mois entre les deux. Your Honours, it's my understanding Avocata. that the Vietnamese calendar is uh, revolves around the lunar calendar, so it depends on the moon and the phases lunaire, of the moon, and when the moon is full or uh, different phases of the lunar um, processes. Um, when Mr. Chung Yang Chet says that it's, that today is the 26th of October, according to the Vietnamese calendar, um, it does make it just over one month before the date of the Western calendar. I just wanted to ask an additional question to the civil party. Sir, if you answer questions that involve a date or time today, questions that refer to the period 75 to 79, are you answering using the Vietnamese calendar or the Western calendar? Do you understand my question? Answer. Actually, if we are talking of a Vietnamese calendar, la vraie dire, si l'on évoque le calendrier vietnamien, I think it was uh, after the uh, seven day. It, it was uh, seven day after the Khmer New Year that uh, I was transferred to another area. So if I um, refer to the uh, Vietnamese uh, calendar, it was si the fourth month of the calendar. Mois du calendrier. One month after the Khmer New Year, that uh, my uh, parents uh, had been killed. But more generally, you will be asked dates again, I guess. Will you, if somebody asks you about the period between 75 and 79 and asks you a date, will you answer according to the Vietnamese calendar or to the Western calendar? So we know how to put your answer in perspective or to understand your answer. Answer. I am referring, uh, referring to the uh, Vietnamese calendar je fais when I'm talking about that. Je parle de cela. Sorry, are we clear now about the relationship between Vietnamese and Khmer calendar? I've heard one month, two months. Um, but, 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 sorry to interrupt, Judge Hans, but 
But the question is, this is a statement from this civil party which was uh, written down by um, the civil party lawyer. And here it says that 17 April 75 is 17 Mar March 75 years. So then this must be a mistake in that, um, in that document. And if, um, Mrs. Nguyen would be so kind to admit that there's a mistake in that typewritten version of that document, then we're all fine. Your Honours, to be perfectly clear, in that document, E3-5631, there are two different references to do different dates. And then following those references, there is an associated reference to a Vietnamese calendar date. I have to make very clear, Your Honours, that I'm not the witness in this case. I'm not giving the evidence. The evidence is to come from the civil party. Now, in the first reference, that is on ERN in English, 00678292, and this is French 00898372, Khmer 00897513, it does say, at 9 o'clock on 17th of April 1975, in brackets, 17 March according to the Western calendar, which would suggest that the Western calendar is earlier than the Vietnamese calendar. However, on the next page, which is English 00678293, Khmer 00897515, French 00. President, uh, lawyer, please slow down. Do not speak uh, very fast, uh, otherwise uh, there is an issue with interpretation. We want to have a full interpretation for all parties. You are here not to speak to sue yourself, and please uh, leave time for interpreters to interpret in full message. On the second page of the English document, and I was just reading the French ERN numbers, 00898373, it says, in June 1978, and then in brackets, it says, that is July 1975, according to the Western calendar. So, Your Honour, there is on the face of the record an inconsistency in the way that the Vietnamese dates are reflected um, in relation to the Western dates. There is no contention about the fact that the first page puts it that the Western calendar dates are earlier than the Vietnamese dates, and that the second page puts it that the Western calendar dates are later than the Vietnamese calendar dates. That does create some confusion. Voilà la confusion. But, Your Honour, it's my submission that this civil party Mais has already answered the question, and particularly so when it was put to him, what is today's date and what date is it in the Vietnamese calendar? And his answer suggested that the Vietnamese dates are earlier than the Western dates. Les dates du calendrier vietnamien interviennent plus tôt que les dates du calendrier occidental.
I don't think there is an issue here, so we uh, need to listen carefully and then uh, we can understand it. So you may not proceed, a lawyer for a civil party. Thank you, Your Honours. Now, Mr. Chung Young Chet. Just before the lunch break, you were telling the court about the horrific mass killings of your entire family, of which you were the sole survivor. You said that you managed to get out of the mass grave and that you found yourself at the house of Mr. Ta Lee, who assisted you. How long were you at Mr. Tali's house. How long did you spend there? Answer. I stayed at Tali's house for one month. Before uh, I and uh, before there there was someone to tell that uh, Vietnamese had to leave uh, by river to Vietnam. At that time, Tali uh, told me to stay, to uh, remain in my house. I was there uh, for two weeks. And later on, uh, 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 one month later, Tali uh, left uh, for Vietnam. When Mr. Tali left for Vietnam, did you come with him? Answer. He told me after I had uh, came out of the forest. Eight uh, member within the within within his uh, family could uh, board the boat and leave uh, for Vietnam. And uh, I was able to be on board uh, at that time. Was this pursuant to some policy by the Khmer Rouge or the CPK or the Democratic Kampuchea to send people back to Vietnam or to get Vietnamese people out of Cambodia? Answer. I do not know about that matter. Je n'en sais rien. Tali has uh, were able to uh, send us to Vietnam Très when the, there was an exchange of rights uh, with uh, Vietnam. At that time, I uh, was able to hide in the boat. Was this Mr. Tali's boat? Est-ce que c'était le bateau de Monsieur Tali? Answer. It was uh, Tali's boat. C'était le bateau de Tali. And uh, when uh, we, when I walked and reached uh, the uh, intersection of the river or Sun Le Bun Muk, I uh, was able to board a motorboat. Just getting back to the details about Mr. Tali's boat, you said that he had about eight people in his family and that you went with him in his boat to another place. Um, you said that you had to hide underneath the boat. What was the reason that you had to hide? Answer. Tali's uh, group of uh, people were allowed uh, to uh, go back to Vietnam. There were only eight uh, members within Tali family or group, uh, but I uh, was able to hide uh, in the boat and uh, was able to uh, go with his group. And uh, when uh, uh, we reached uh, Tun Le Bun Mok, I was uh, able to uh, 
uh, get out from hiding and uh, de ma help uh, uh, paddle the boat. Aidé à ramer. Could you describe the pathway that the boat took from Qu'est-ce where Mr. Lee resided to Tonlei Bun Muk? Hansa, we were uh, traveling uh, on a boat, and after we reached uh, the tributary of the Le Bun Moka, I, uh, we were able to board uh, the uh, motorboat, and we left uh, for Nhat Lương. At that time, I helped uh, to uh, row the boat. And when we reached the tributary, uh, we boarded a motorboat with uh, about 60 more people. And I do not know about the exchange of rights uh, with the Vietnam. Just to clarify, is Ton Le Bun Muk the same as the place which is called the Lake of Four Faces, this being the place in front of the Royal Palace in Phnom Penh? Is that the place that you're talking about? Yes, I talk about the tributary in front of the Royal Palace. How many days did it take you on the journey on Mr. Tali's boat to get to this tributary at the Tonli Bun Muk? We traveled day and night, that is, we rode the boat uh, three and nights, and we spent three nights before we arrived at the tributary. Now, what happened when you arrived at Tonli Bun Muk? Were you separated from Mr. Tali at that point? When we reached the tributary, there was a ferry uh, so that we could go to uh, Nhat Lương. So he told me that it's better for me to get on the ferry, otherwise his family would be in danger. So he placed me in the ferry with other people. Now you said earlier that there was about 60 people on this ferry. Who were the people on the ferry? Were they Vietnamese or were they also Khmer people? They were all Vietnamese on the ferry. There was no Khmer. Even Khmer got on the ferry, they would not be allowed to cross. If Khmer had tried to ferry, they would not have been allowed to cross. Who did the ferry belong to? À qui appartenait le ferry? Réponse. Of course, uh, we were in the Khmer Rouge regime, but I did not know whether the ferry belonged to uh, the Vietnam or the Vietnamese or to the Khmer Rouge. However, it was Khmer Rouge who instructed us to get on the ferry for the budget program with the Vietnam. How did the Khmer Rouge identify who they would let onto the ferry? If it might sa- save some time, I'll rephrase that question to how did the cadre of the CPK or the Democratic Kampuchea identify who they would allow to go on the ferry? Well, we do it historically correct, Mr. President. DK didn't exist. Um, that didn't happen until um, uh, early 76. Uh, CPK didn't announce itself until September 77. Uh, Khmer Rouge was something title that was never used by the CPK. Actually, it's still in the period of the National Front, so the Council wants to be historically accurate. Um, what did the members of the National Front say to uh, the members of the National Front? 
Your Honour, the evidence from this civil party was that the Khmer Rouge instructed people to get onto the ferry to engage in this barter process. So he said that it was the Khmer Rouge who instructed them to get onto the ferry. It's my submission that we should go with the identification of who had that role that was given by the civil party. La partie civile pour attribuer les rôles. Le civil party lawyer, you can use that, that in France, the word Khmer Rouge has been commonly used in these proceedings, and it is familiar with the uh, public opinion as well. It is up to the bench to deliberate on the issues or the definition or the circumstances of uh, the Khmer Rouge. For example, Rouge, in this uh, tribunal, it is commonly known as the Khmer Rouge Tribunal le rather than the ECCC. De Khmer Rouge et For that reason, the civil party lawyer, you may proceed with the term Khmer Rouge. Thank you, Your Honours. Merci. Mr. Chung Yong Chet. I was just asking you, how did the Khmer Rouge identify the people who they would allow to go onto the big ferry? People got on the ferry because uh, there were no boats available, boats have been burned. Car il n'y avait plus de bateaux disponibles. Les bateaux, les navires avaient été brûlés. Et donc, les personnes qui venaient pour les navires, d'autres qui avaient toujours des navires, pouvaient pagayer, mais étaient aussi dans ce programme d'échange contre du Just before that, only Vietnamese people were on the boat, and that Khmer people were not allowed to go on the boat. You said that the Khmer Rouge instructed who was to go on the boat. So the question is, how did the Khmer Rouge identify who was Vietnamese to allow them to go on the boat, and who was Khmer to not allow them to go on the boat? President, Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Président, je pense que la question est répétitive. Je pense que la question est répétitive. La partie civile a déjà expliqué comment les gens pouvaient monter dans le ferry. Ceux qui avaient des embarcations pouvaient pagayer. To get on the ferry or to row the boat to the battle process. So there is no listing procedure beyond that, and it has already been testified by the civil party. Your Honours, I'm afraid that counsel for Kyusam Porn has misconstrued the question and misconstrued the evidence that has been given so far. Mr. Chung Yong Chet was asked, Mr. Chung Yong Chet said to the court that only Vietnamese people were allowed to go on the ferry. And the question is, how did the Khmer Rouge identify who was Vietnamese to allow to go onto the ferry? That question has not yet been answered. Le président, the objection by counsel Consmon is overruled. As this is not a repetitive question, and the chamber needs to hear the response from the civil party to the good question put to him by the lawyer for civil party. 
And Mr. Sivopati, please Monsieur, respond to the last question civil, put to you by the Sivopati lawyer. Civil party. They selected people to get on the ferry. They asked who were Vietnamese, who were Chinese, who were Vietnamese, who were Khmer. So, because Vietnamese people spoke Khmer with accent, then they could identify. So, Khmer people, they could identify them immediately through their facial figures and features. What happened Question. to the Khmer people who wanted to go onto the boat? What happened to them? Of course, they faced the same difficulty as I did. Ils ont eu les mêmes difficultés que moi. So, for that reason, they wanted to, to go away, but when they arrived at the ferry, they were not allowed. Ferry, to go. On leur a interdit de monter. Even some Vietnamese would not Même be allowed uh, to get on the ferry, they could uh, use their ferry. own boats to go, so everybody had to find his or her own means of going. Now, at the time, Question. you were a 13 or 14 year old child traveling alone. Did you know anybody on the boat? No, I did not uh, know anyone. Je ne connaissais personne. I just uh, mingled with the rest. Je me suis mêlé aux autres. Were there any Question. Khmer Rouge cadres on this boat? Y avait-il des cadres Khmer Rouge sur le ferry? I cannot recall who Réponse. were supervisors or who were not. Je ne me souviens pas qui était un because they were all wearing pas. black uh, tous uniform des uniformes with a scarf around their neck. Avec However, they did not coup, carry any weapon. Par contre, ils pas now, you said earlier that this large boat, the Khmer Rouge boat, went to Nier Lung in Préveng. Is that right? The Khmer Rouge is going to Nier Lung in Préveng. That's exact. Yes. Oui. Question. How long did it take to travel to Nier Lung in Préveng? Combien de temps a duré le trajet jusqu'à Nier Lung à Préveng? Réponse. It was one night and one day before we arrived une, une at the Nier Lung. We Nier Lung. left in early morning. Nous avions parti tôt le matin. When you Question. arrived at Nier Lung, Lorsque what happened Nier to Nier the Vietnamese people on the boat? Qu'est-il arrivé aux Vietnamiens à bord de, du navire? So that. They Réponse. could negotiate uh, with the Vietnamese side. When we were, Vietnamese. when we got off the ferry, Lorsque they counted heads. Du ferry, ils ont compte, du ferry, and ils then, ont in les exchange, the Vietnamese uh, returned échange, the rice and salt. Les Vietnamiens ont donné du riz. And du after sel. that, we were uh, allowed to board uh, the Vietnamese quoi, ferry. On nous a permis de monter à bord du ferry vietnamien. So you're saying there was Question. a Vietnamese ferry when you arrived at Nier Lung. Can you describe what was on the ferry and who was on that ferry when you first arrived? I saw only rice and salt and nothing else. Were there Vietnamese Question. authorities on that boat, the Vietnamese boat? À bord du navire vietnamien? Not meaning. No, there wasn't. Réponse, non. You mentioned that Question. on arrival, there was a head count of the people on the Khmer Rouge boat. Who administered the head count? Khmer Rouge. Qui a compté?
the Vietnamese together with the uh, Cambodian authorities uh, counted head or de personnes. and after they uh, battered the salt and rice then we got on the Vietnamese ferry. Did you see Question. the actual transaction take place? That is, the trading of salt and rice for Vietnamese persons. Pour des personnes vietnamiennes. Yes, I was there. Réponse. So oui, I là. witnessed it. Et je vu. I uh, witnessed them transporting vu ont rice du riz and uh, salt from the Vietnamese ferry to the navire. Uh, in fact, Question. you were one of those who were traded for salt and rice. Du sel et du riz. Civil Party, please hold Party on and Council Copper, do you have the floor? Um, I object to the word trade, Je traded. À um, cette expression, what the witness describes is um, le témoin, Vietnamese people on the boat des à bord and un bateau, rice and uh, other materials et going back. Et uh, it doesn't mean that ones are traded for the others. It happens all the time that 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 a van with, with, with the mail goes to direction A, une, uh, loads off and takes something else with them. Doesn't mean that there's cam trade. Uh, avec that's the conclusion of uh, the uh, so I think the word trade or trading is also in the light of the bigger political context, uh, not uh, expression an accurate description. Je pense que, et du n'est pas une description exacte. Your Honours, in Maître this Daniel, civil party's evidence, Madame, juges, he has used the term bartering process la, many times. La he has said it at least three times, troc, that when he was on the boat, fois, it dit, was for the bartering processes that then took place. The evidence, Your Honour, and I'm not meaning to Ce go into any submissions, because at the moment we're just listening to the evidence of this civil party. But the evidence is that Vietnamese civile, people were put on a boat and that their lives were spared so that there could be a bartering process take place where they were essentially swapped. You could call it trading, you could call it swapping, you could call it bartering, but they were essentially bartered and swapped for bags of rice and salt. That's the evidence that has come out today. Et c'est ce qui a été dit aujourd'hui. May I respond, Mr. President? Um, Mr. President. During one of the document presentation hearings, I think it was in relation, relation to Krang Tachang, we showed footage Chang, nous avons um, of the highest possible ranking delegation of Vietnam coming to Phnom Penh, uh, meeting uh, Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, and Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, uh, high ranking et members dignitaires de haut niveau, of the CPK, it was PCK. in fact uh, party leader Chairman Le Duan who came uh, uh, to Phnom Penh, you saw the footage, you might remember, being shown around in the Silver Pagoda. Um, the relations between Vietnam Les relations and entre le Vietnam. Um, the temporary government which was in place at the time was very cordial. Était, uh, so uh, to, to suggest that um, these Vietnamese les people's lives were safe because um, uh, uh, rice was needed car, uh, on avait de riz. a very fair, far-fetched conclusion by farfelu. this particular council and has no basis whatsoever in Et the political pas du uh, tout context fondé sur le in August 1975. I think we should limit ourselves to what this witness actually Donc, saw. He might have perceived it as a barter or as a trade, but of course it wasn't. Pas du tout le cas. Your Honor, my learned friend... Maître Nguyen. Monsieur le Président, on s'en va, mon frère. Le Président, Castle, Consumon, la parole est à Maître Consumon. Thank you, Mr. President. Based on the facts uh, and the testimonies of the civil party, it seems that this event took place immediately after the victory of 17 April 1975. And at that time, 
À l'époque, il n'y avait pas une administration en tant que telle établie dans le pays. Ce qu'a vu la partie civile était un transfert d'un bateau à l'autre. Et il est possible qu'un bateau appartenait au Cambodgien et que l'autre ferry appartenait au Vietnamien. La partie civile a vu que l'on transportait from the Vietnamese ferry et du sel depuis le bateau vietnamien au bateau cambodgien. Ce qui ne peut pas être défini comme un bateau ou un échange de programmes. We have heard other witnesses who testified in this court about the batter process, either individually or at the best, for example, the battering of medicines at the Vietnamese border. Thank you, President. Thank you. I believe you should end your. Je pense qu'il faut peut-être mettre fin à ce débat. Et le Conseil pour la Civil Party, s'il vous plaît, demandez à votre client pour ses raisons qui le poussent à dire qu'il s'agissait d'un échange. Ce qui le pousse à dire qu'il s'agissait d'un échange. En premier lieu, et en deuxième lieu, si la défense veut obtenir plus de positions, vous aurez la parole et que vous pouvez utiliser cette opportunité pour clarifier tous les points de vue, pour préciser tout, apporter les précisions qui ne sont pas claires quand les autres parties ont demandé. Et c'est là que se situe la pratique usuelle. C'est la pratique usuelle. Yes, Your Honour. This is not the time for closing submissions or closing statements. I will move on with getting the civil party to clarify why he characterised it as a barter. Mr. Chung Young Chet, in your evidence before, you said that there was a bartering process between the Khmer Rouge and the Vietnamese authorities. What made you uh, conclude or what made you consider that this was a bartering process, that is, a trading process or a transaction? J'ai entendu d'autres personnes vietnamiennes dire que ma vie avait été épargnée grâce à l'échange de riz et de sel, et donc je pouvais aller au Vietnam. Question. Did you see how many bags of rice and how many bags of salt traded hands? passer d'une main à l'autre. J'ai vu qu'il y avait du riz et du sel, mais je ne pourrais vous dire combien de sacs il y avait. À ce moment-là, on m'avait dit qu'il fallait que je descende du ferry en premier. Question. Qu'est-il arrivé lorsque vous, avez, lorsque vous êtes débarqué? I got off the ferry. Then they did the head count. Je suis descendu. Ils ont compté le nombre de personnes. And after they did the head counts, then they exchange the head counts number with the bags of rice and salt. Contre les sacs de riz et de sel. So you are saying that after they did a head count of the Vietnamese people of the Khmer Rouge boat, they checked it against the numbers of bags and salt on the Vietnamese boat. Is that what you're saying?
I did not know whether they counted as against the bags of a rice or salt, but I did see them carrying the bags and salt from the Vietnamese ferry to the Cambodian ferry. And after that, then we were allowed to board the Vietnamese ferry. When you had boarded the Vietnamese ferry, did everybody who was on the Khmer Rouge ferry go onto that Vietnamese ferry with you? Tout le monde qui était à bord du ferry cambodgien est aussi monté à bord du ferry vietnamien. No, there was no Khmer getting on that ferry. We were all Vietnamese. Where did Question. that ferry then head off to? Ce ferry est-il ensuite allé? It headed off toward Vietnam, that is, Réponse. toward uh, Chao Dok. Vers le Vietnam, vers Chao Dok. And ha what happened to you Question. and the other Vietnamese people when vous? this ferry arrived in Vietnam? Et aux autres vietnamiennes lorsque ce ferry est arrivé au Vietnam? When we arrived there, the uh, Vietnamese Anka allowed us to rest in the Vietnamese school. They distributed rice and cookeries uh, for us. They also gave us uh, mat, sleeping mat, and mosquito net. Des nattes pour dormir et des moustiquaires. When you say Vietnamese Anka, do you mean the Vietnamese government or the Vietnamese authorities? It uh, was the, the Anka or the representative Anka. of a Vietnam. I refer to the people who were on the ferry. And as I said, when we ferry, arrived there, they let us dis, rest and gave us arrivés, the uh, ont de cooking nous reposer, nous ont donné utensils. Les utensils de How long did you stay in Question. Vietnam? I stayed in Vietnam until 1982. Then I uh, returned to Cambodia. Why did you decide to return to Cambodia? Because I had no uh, land to farm je n'avais pas de terre à cultiver no place where i could catch fish uh, in vietnam i mean so vietnam. i decided uh, to return to cambodia whether it uh, means uh, it there was a risk for me même si cela représentait un risque pour did you return to Question. cambodia by yourself or did you go cambodge with others ou êtes-vous rentré avec d'autres I came along with the other people because at that time I had nothing, I had no rice, I had no money, so I got on a boat with other people and I helped them row the boat. When you came to Cambodia, were you able to present yourself with Cambodian documentation from the previous time that you were in Cambodia? I had uh, documents with me when I returned in 1982, but I left it at home. I don't bring it along with me. When you say you left it at home, do you mean you left it back in Cambodia before you left Cambodia?
When I réponse. left Cambodia, I had nothing at all because everything was burned. Tout avait uh, été brûlé. Was burned. Ma maison avait été brûlée. Et je... Tout ce que j'avais, c'était les vêtements que je portais. Now, Mr. Chung Young Chet, you said Mr. earlier in your Mr. evidence that as a result of the injuries that you sustained to the back of your head from being beaten with a hammer by Khmer Rouge Cadre, you suffer sometimes from memory loss. What sort of things do you forget sometimes? My réponse. memory doesn't serve me well now. Je n'ai pas très bonne mémoire. De Whenever jours. I feel anxious, Quand I cannot recall anything. Je ne me souviens plus de rien. When I think of uh, the pain, Et it is very difficult for me to bear. I have to speak it out. Douleur, c'est très difficile pour moi. Je dois l'exprimer. Have you ever Question. forgotten what happened to your family? And indeed. Ce qui est have votre you ever forgotten how you survived the mass killing vous avez in 1975? In Cambodia, I was given food to eat, I was given money glory to eat, and then uh, while I was in Vietnam, they Vietnam, gave me rice and uh, they provide me with uh, some necessities only for a few months, then I had to earn a living by myself. Mois, mais après and even when I arrived in Cambodia, I still uh, go around Cambodge, earning my own living, je vis par working as a worker je for somebody. Comme ou comme pour Mr. Chung Young Chet, has Mr. everything that you have told Monsieur the court Chung today Chet. in accordance with your memory about Tout ce what que happened vous avez dit to your family and how you survived that mass killing. Ce qui est à votre et la façon dont vous avez survécu à cette exécution en masse. Réponse. I witnessed the execution of my parents and my siblings. J'ai été témoin de l'exécution de mes parents. De mes it happened et right in front of my eyes. Fait moi. But fortunately, despite the uh, three hits with an axe, I survive. However, les coups de hache que reçu, the pain resurfaces when the weather survécu. is cold. Mais quand il fait froid, je sens encore la douleur. Is what happened to Question. your parents something that you could ever forget? Ce qui, est, ce qui est arrivé à vos parents, pourriez-vous, serait-il possible pour vous d'oublier ce qui est arrivé à vos parents Marnia. Réponse. Answer. I cannot forget what happened to Je ne pourrai me. jamais oublier ce qui est arrivé. I really want to ask uh, the perpetrators Je veux how aux auteurs they are suffering de if uh, they had their family members killed. Comment se sentirait-il si on avait tué leur famille? Mr. Chung Young Chet, I believe you will have the time to do Notre that Monsieur with Chung leave Chet, of Mr. President. Thank you for your time today, time today and questions. that concludes Merci the questions that I have for this civil party. Merci. President. The floor is now given présent, to the la chambre laisse la parole aux to put questions to pour this civil party. You have the floor now. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honors. Good afternoon, Council. Good afternoon, Mr. Civil Party. My name is Andrew Boyle. I'm from the Office of the Co-Prosecutors, and I only have very few questions uh, to, to follow up on my learned friend's questions. Um, 
I'd first like to ask you, when did the Khmer Rouge arrive in your hometown village? Uh, answer. I was uh, transferred to Da village. I can tell you the uh, Vietnamese calendar. It was in the fifth month of uh, Vietnamese calendar when uh, I, I noticed their presence. If I heard you correctly, you said it was in the fifth month of the Vietnamese calendar when you noticed the presence of the Khmer Rouge in your home village. Uh, and can you tell us what year that was in? Pourriez-vous nous dire en quelle année c'était? Answer: It was in 1975. Réponse: C'était en 1975. Thank you very much. Um, my next question is, uh, you, you mentioned earlier that, uh, and correct me if I am incorrect about this, but I believe you mentioned earlier that there were approximately 30 Vietnamese families in your home village uh, and uh, a greater number of Khmer families. Is that correct? Khmer, est-ce que c'est exact? Answer. Yes. Réponse, oui. At the time, um, it was so quiet that uh, we decided to flee to Ganda. There were around 30 families of us. We stayed there for one month when the May New Year failed on arrived. <coughs> At the time, uh, they were saying that uh, long live the king, and if uh, no one lived in the houses, then the houses would uh, be uh, burned down. Are you saying that only the Vietnamese families, the 30 Vietnamese families, went to Kandal village at that time? But the Khmer families did not leave your home village at that time. Answer. I was living in Prekatuat for a week together with 30 families of Vietnamese. And when I arrived at Da village, uh, there were also Cham uh, families uh, who were living uh, there. I was asking about the Khmer families, in addition to the 30 Vietnamese families that lived in your home village, were they also, uh, did they also leave uh, when the Vietnamese families left, or did they remain in your home village? Famille vietnamienne sont parties ou sont-elles restées dans le village? Answer. There were 30 families of our Vietnamese. Uh, as for Khmer people, they remained uh, living in that area. Sont restés vivre dans cet endroit. And I heard you just mention uh, that empty houses were burned. Are you saying that the houses of the Vietnamese who departed were burned? Answer. The fact is that there were houses on land and uh, there were houses on the river. Those who were living on the island, they were dispersed to live uh, in other areas on land. And for those who were living uh, in houses on the river, they were allowed to live on rivers. And at the times, so there were sayings that uh, long uh, live the king. If no one lived in houses, those houses would be burned down. Did 
Did the members of your village, your hometown village, know who in the village was ethnically Vietnamese? And if so, how did they know who was ethnically Vietnamese? Answer. Réponse. During that time, the, everyone, including the Vietnamese, Khmer, and Cham people, les les were les dispersed out of the villages. Uh, those who Ont were living on land, village, they had to go and terre, find other areas on land to live in and to live on. And for those who were living in floating villages, they had to find uh, other areas to live. I apologize if my question was not clear. I was trying to find out if, uh, if you knew if the members of your village, uh, whether it was before the arrival of the Khmer Rouge or after, whether they knew who in the village was ethnically Vietnamese and who in the village was ethnically Khmer. Answer. For instance, we had uh, siblings, other siblings or parents, and, Nous avions, par exemple, and des parents uh, the word des Lang Tai was used, and that the word Lang Tai, Lang Tai uh, meant uh, the resident book. President, thank you. It is now break time, and the chamber will take a short break from now until 3 p.m. Court officer, please assist the civil party during the break time. And please invite him back into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.